website and what I want, I want to search here. Let's say I search iPhone X, okay? And click enter. Now, whatever thing will come here, what I'll do, I will uh, click on the, let's say this one or maybe any, any one of the link, right? So I will click here and it should open this one. Simply we will see how we can automate this one, right? So for that, what we have to do, we can create one more Java file and then I can name it Amazon uh, demo or Amazon test, create main method and then we can write code here. So I will just copy these two, three lines from here. Since this is, you know, mandatory, Although once we will uh, work with uh, what we say test ng, right? In test ng, we can configure this. So you have to write only one time. And now here, what I'll do, I will uh, copy this one and paste it. So after that, once we will run it, what will happen? It will open, it will open, uh, Amazon dot in and then I will have to search here, right? I have to write here iPhone X. So for that, I need to inspect and then we'll have to go to, so this is our input box, right? So what we will do, we can simply see this one. And if you want, you can uh, use Xbox CSS Explorer. So if I want to access, I can even access using Xpath or CSS and anything we can use. Although you can see here, we have input ID equal to this one. So I can use ID also. So for now, let's use the ID. So how we will do in the next step, what we will do, we can write here driver dot uh, find element by ID. And then here I will put that ID. Right. So after that, it will, uh, you know, find that box. You can write here send keys as well, but what I'll do, I will store this in one variable and then we can use that. So here I can see web element. So I will write web element, let's say a uh, search box equal to this one. Control shift O, I think, yeah. <clears throat> to auto import in, um, Eclipse, we have a shortcut control shift and O, right? It will automatically import uh, required one. Find element and store the object here in search box. And then what I'll do, I'll do search box, search box dot send keys. And then here I'll write iPhone, whatever thing we want to write. And then it will enter, it will enter this text in that search box then i'll do one more thing search box dot submit okay now what this will do it will write the x phone i iphone x and then it will click enter okay you can see right already entered it another way is i have to locate the this button and then let's say i'll click it click on it and then this is our input box, right? So we can navigate or I can use anything, maybe XPath or CSS. Even I have here input ID, so I can use ID also. So what I'll do instead of if you don't want to write this whole thing or if you don't want to click submit, then you have to write again driver dot find element by dot XPath. Let's say I have copied right now XPath and then dot submit you have to do this one submit or click right anything you can use right here so i'm not using this submit but i am first finding the button and then i'm clicking on that button even instead of submit i can use click also right let's check with click so difference between submit and click is submit basically submits the complete form and click is only clicking on the button Right, still you can see we are getting out. In this case, you don't need uh, this one. You can directly write here send keys and then it will work.
you have multiple ways but uh, this way i feel is more you know convenience to write code okay so now here we have um, we have list and from this list what we want we want to uh, you know click on any of the link right so what i can do maybe you can see i want to purchase new iphone apple iphone x right so one way is i can uh, okay let me go here remove it yes this one so one way is i can first find here iphone x click enter and then here we have all the list from this list let's say i want iphone this one so one way is i can first click on it and then click on this link so now we have here anchor tag right you can see a a is anchor tag so inside a we have these things so what i can do i am just trying to see i'll copy it and then we'll go here and write next code is that i'll write driver dot find element by dot uh, what we say we have these things right link text we can use link text and in that link text i can paste the complete uh, complete linked text basically and then i'll do click let's see if it is working or not the thing is in this case it should be unique unique and if this is not unique then it will click on the first matched one let's see if it is working or not So you can see right it is working right and then what you can do next is you can increase you can add the number of quantity from here one or two and then based on that you can click on add so suppose you are here in this page and let me just check it is a new one or it is just a continuation of existing one okay i think it's a new one let me just close all the browser or all the opened one so there is difference between the new new page and then existing one let me run again so right now we have only one window opened <clears throat> yes so you can see it's the existing one only right in this case you don't need to worry now let's try to find this one what quantity one right and i just want to increase quantity to two and then we'll add it right so for that let me just click on it and then i will right click here inspect element so here we have select right select box is basically this drop down in html is called select box right so you have to see this one if this is a select then you can select this one so we can find the unique one so here it is saying name equal to quantity right id is also quantity so i have these two identifier so better i can use id let's go here and then try to find it so i'll write driver dot find element by dot id and then i'll say id is this one so what will happen by doing this it will return the complete you know select box complete select box option one option two these all things it will return now the question is how i can choose the value from here whether it is one or two so it is not directly you can do that but for that we have a select so you have to store this one so we have a special handling for select box so you have to use a select class right so select i can say um, any any name you can write i can say um, quantity right equal to new select and inside this you can pass this one and then i'll just have to import it <clears throat> okay so as of now this is fine so whatever 
things you have got from here you have to add inside select and then so what you have to do now is we have object of select and then using this quantity dot uh, we have option select by value or index or visual text so we have basically three options to choose data select by index visual value visual text and then value now what is this so suppose if you have this drop down right so in drop down we store data we can get data by index also so index means first one is zero second one is one so index starts from zero and so if you want to set value by index then you and, and let's say by default it is one and you want to set to two then you have to write here select by index and then you can say one once you will do this it will select the second element let's see i'm just closing it and then try to run it okay <clears throat> so we have some error let's see what is that So it is saying element info using id equal to quantity by default it should select here only we don't need to click as of now it is saying no such element or unable to locate that one right so it may be because you know uh, this is fast so what we can do uh, once we click on it right it is taking few seconds right to open the next page it is taking few seconds just to open or load the next page and meanwhile our script is executing that one and so it is giving us the error no such element right you can see so one thing is that you have to handle this one and for that you can better add a try catch block and then you know you will save your program to not terminate at least this program will not terminate so what you can do first thing you can add all code inside try catch block which is fine or or even you can add only this part where you feel that okay i might get error at this place so you can do that another thing is we have weights selenium weight so if i'll show you this one selenium web element different types of weights in selenium right so you have to add weight weight is basically whenever you will get no such element exception and right now also you can see we are getting no such element exception so in that case what you can do you have to add some kind of weight and in selenium we have basically three kinds of weight one is implicit explicit and fluent now fluent weight is i think removed but still we have these three things that we should know so one is implicit weight implicit weight is used you know whenever you will use it will be applicable for all the web element available right it will be applicable for all the web element for example here you can see manage timeout implicit 10 and then we have given seconds so it will wait 10 seconds and then it will throw error so here in this case it just throw error without waiting a single single minute or second but what we can what we can do we can add here implicit weight so driver dot manage dot timeout dot set time out what it is implicit yes we have implicit weight and here i can say let's say 10 and then you have to give it time unit so i'll write time unit dot so how many uh, i mean minute or second you want to wait and after that it will throw so let's say i can say second so i am saying compiler that okay before raising any exception just wait for 10 seconds and then you can you can raise exception if that element is not visible then you can raise exception so let's see most of the time this this line can solve all the error so we can try again let me close it
Okay, so still it is saying unexpected tag name exception. Okay, the select element should have been select, but was input. Okay, now actually what happened? What is happening? It is saying that uh, <clears throat> select equal to new select. Yeah, and then from here we are getting input. So element should have been select, but was input. So here it is saying that it is expecting a select one, but what actually we got is input box. Let's see how it is input box. Click here. So I have added quantity, right? So it may possible that this quantity is being used in other places too. Let's try to figure out quantity, right? So if I'll search this one, copy find. Is not able to find. So you can see here, right? <clears throat> we have ID equal to quantity available here also. And that's the problem, right? It picked the first one. And similarly, let's see. The exact match is not this one. Yeah, but we identified the problem, right? Uh, okay, so what we can do, what we can do here is we can use maybe name, right? Or maybe you can use X bar. Since this ID is not unique, this ID is not unique here. What I'll do, we can uh, see here from here. Okay, this is not visible, so I'll go here, right? So one thing is I can go to this one, click on X path, and for this select box, I'll use this X path or maybe CSS selector, anything you can use. So let's try with CSS selector, go here, and then instead of writing by ID, what I will do, I will write here by CSS selector and then put this one. Okay, save it and we'll try it. Close it and then run it. Now you can see quantity has been updated, right? So the, the thing is, as an automation engineer, right, you have to, you know, see the logs and then based on the logs, you have to guess what should be the better, you know, better option to handle that. So in Selenium automation, you will feel, you will get a lot of different, these kind of issues. And you have to handle those issues as well. It might possible that the same code which is running now will not run in other browsers, right? So you have to handle that particular thing also by seeing the error log and then try to run it, try to fix that, okay? So I was explaining here, select by index. And right now you can see it is updated to by index, right? Now we have another option is I can use select by value as well. And this value will come from here. So you can see we have option and value equal to one, value equal to two. So whenever you will write value, that means it will pick this one. And another one is visible text. So this one is basically visible text, right? So uh, in this case, we have only one, one and one, two, both are the same. So it, it, it doesn't matter whether you can use visual text one or, you know, uh, select by value or visual text, both will be the same. Uh, here I can say, let's say two, right? Now, if we have something different, let's say um, we have a website called Wiki, Wikipedia, let, let's see. Right, in this Wikipedia, if you, you can see we have this text box and then this drop down, right? So now whatever thing right now you are seeing, this is visual text, okay? If I automate this one, then I have to write select. So I have to write here quantity dot select by visual text. One is, let me write all the things here. 
quantity by dot select by index. So let's say I'm writing index number. Then I can use quantity dot select by visual text and visual text. Whatever thing you want, you can do. Now this visual text is this one. Whatever thing is listing here. This is the visual text. So if you will add in Selenium, then you have to copy this text. And it might possible that this text will not work because of the encoding and decoding thing. So in that case, instead of using visual text, what you have to use, you can inspect it. This is the select box, expand, and then here you can see all the things, right? Option value equal to PL. So suppose this is the language, right? AR means maybe it will be Arabic. So if you are selecting Arabic, so this one is visual text. And here value equal to AR is basically uh, select by value. So better you can go by select by value instead of index also. Index is the first one is index zero, index one, index two, which is fine. But mo most of the time we follow the index, uh, follow the value. We use select by value. This is better one. Right, hope you are able to get this thing. Right, and that's why I picked this uh, uh, Amazon example. And then you can update it and after that you can click on add and after clicking on add, it will come like this and you can click on the proceed, right? It will take you to the next sign in button or something, right? And uh, you can create sign in and then you can proceed on that. So you can update the complete flow using that one. There is no, no any issue in that. 